Hey guys, what is going on? This is Jack Attack 45 and today I have a team of the season review sponsored by Buy Ultimate Coins and you guys should be able to guess who it is. It is Mr. Team of the Season Henri. You guys all know that I love Henri and his second inform was awesome. Team of the Season Henri, we got to see if he was even better. And uh I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that uh, he has returned to his FIFA 12 team of the season glory. But 82 pace, 86 shot, 79 pass, 88 dribbling, and 69 heading. It is much better than 69. Trust me, he is 6'2". He's a monster in the air. But uh, his shot has finally returned to what I think it should be just in general. He's a great player, obviously a legend. And we're going to move on to his in-game stats. And then we're going to look at some of his goals and finally have the good old bottom line so guys i hope you do enjoy the review today and enjoy and here we are over at Thierry Henry's in-game stats as you can see he's an 85 overall does say he's a left forward but he also can play striker like he does in my squad 35 years old 6'2 183 pounds he's from france obviously plays left forward or striker he is right footed but he does have that four star weak foot he has medium low attacking and defensive work rates and he also has those four star skill moves so obviously what you see from this very tall very strong and striker up front also 35 years old so obviously becoming quite the legend we have 84 acceleration 92 agility which is awesome 95 reactions 81 sprint speed and 74 strength the one thing that surprised me about this one is the fact that uh, 74 strength it feels like he's a lot stronger in game just because he's so much taller than most of the players on the pitch as you can see aggression 74 attack position 81 and vision 76 and then we go into his skill attributes where he really shines 92 ball control 95 curve 90 dribbling 90 finishing 86 free kick accuracy which i'm surprised that's not higher 82 long shots 87 penalties 87 short pass 91 shot power and 92 volleys the one thing that really surprises me about this card though is the fact that his finishing is not higher uh i figured it would be you know 95 plus because um devio's regular inform is actually has 99 finishing and uh Thierry Henry finally has a decent shot on this card well better than his second inform which i would think would be higher in the first place but we're gonna move on over to the goals and see how we performed in game so as i said before Originally, I gave the second inform Henri a 9.6. Now, it is pretty hard to improve on a 9.6, but we're going to start off with his creativity. And the one big thing about Mr. Thierry Henry is he's more of a center forward. He's not a pure striker. He doesn't have high-low work rates. He's not going to be scoring all your goals. He's going to be creating for you. And one of the biggest things I found an improvement in this card was his passing. He seemed to be in a lot better position most of the time. And here's a few actual shots that I just barely missed. I almost hit that one from inside the center circle. That would have been insane. And then, of course, here's another free kick that just barely hit the crossbar. A lot of crossbar shots with Mr. Thierry Henry. It's like he's doing the crossbar challenge. But, hey, can't complain. But that's one of the big things I noticed, and the other increase was in his heading. It seemed like he scored a few more goals for me off corners, and I really didn't play with the second inform Henri that much, so I don't really know if I have a pure comparison, but those are the two big things I noticed right off the bat. His shooting from before was really, really solid anyway, so I didn't really notice that much of a change in that. But the third thing that I did notice a change in was his agility. His agility seems a lot better, and... One of the biggest things about Mr. Henri is you kind of have to get used to the little bit slower player that he is. But once he gets the ball on his feet, it is not leaving, you know, within six inches of his feet. He such a quick dribbler, such an agile dribbler, and you know those four-star skills really do help out as well. So as you can see, we're going to score a lot of goals with Mr. Thierry Henri. A lot of you know just scrappy goals. He just the ball ends up at his feet. If he doesn't get the first shot, he's going back, trying to win the ball back from the defenders. And that's one of the biggest things why I like Thierry Henry because he has that, you know, just innate ability to get the ball onto his feet and score goals or create if he needs to. And I was actually playing him in an MLS squad with uh, Olathemi Martins up front. And him and Olathemi Martins work very, very well together. Olathemi Martins, if you guys haven't tried him, his transfer version is very, very good. Very, very fast. Very good shot power. 
and uh, Henri scored just as many goals as he did. And like I said, guys, he it does take a little bit of getting used to. You know, his pace, not as fast as your normal striker, but once you do get used to it, he is kind of like a Zlatan. Not as strong as Zlatan. You don't notice that much strength, but he does have those quick, agile, and tall attributes. So, as you can see, he scores goals, and... You know, like I said, it is really tough to improve, but I honestly think that this Team of the Season card is returning to his FIFA 12 Team of the Season card. I mean, that card was amazing, and I loved playing with that card. And look at this, for a goal, oh yes, off the volley. You love to see that from Mr. Thierry Henry. So, we're going to move on to the bottom line, his overall prices and everything, and you guys will be surprised. This is the closest I've gotten since I started my rating system to Mr. Ebra, perfect 10 out of 10, but he has a 9.8. So we're going to talk about overall price, average price for Mr. Thierry Henry, 474k for Xbox, 342 for PS3. Obviously, that will drop once the all the hype dies down around the ML, MLS All-Star game. Pros, B-Shot, Tall, Agile, 4-Star Skills, and Weak Foot, and he's got that Legend status. You can't find anything wrong with a Legend, of course. And he has a overall 9.8 out of 10. So, guys, I hope you did enjoy the review today. Make sure to drop a like if you did. If you'd like to see some more MLS Team of the Season reviews, make sure to let me know which one you'd like to see next down in the comments section below. This has been Jack Attack 45, signing out. Peace.